Hey guys, so today I'll be talking about dilations and we have two figures. We're gonna have a triangle to the left and triangle to the right, blue and green. And if you notice, one's gonna be labeled A, B, C and the other one's gonna be A prime, B prime, C prime, right? So now we're gonna be able to find out scale factor, scale factor. And we're also gonna be looking for the center of dilation. Center of dilation, I'm going to put my work down here. All right. And let's talk about scale factor, and it should be pretty easy to find. Now, we need to figure out what is the pre image and the image. And usually, the pre image is the before, and then the image is the after. So, in terms of these two figures, and usually when we have these primed tick marks right here, as you can see those are gonna indicate the image. It's gonna be the after of the transformation, of the dilation. And then we have the one that's just A by itself. That itself is just gonna be the pre-image. Right? So that's the pre-image. Right? Now I know what the pre-image and the image are. Then I can go ahead and use the formula is image over pre-image, or we could say new over old, right? And we learned this in class, new over old. And in this case, we could go ahead and look for corresponding size. So corresponding size is A, B, A prime, B prime, right? Now we know for A, B is one, two, versus one, two, three, four, okay? In that case, it would be two versus four. Two versus four, okay? So four is the new, and then two is gonna be the old, Right, our scale factor is going to be two. Okay, so that is how we're going to find scale factor. And in that case, we could also use other uh, sides, especially um, B, C, and B prime, C prime. We could use corresponding sides. Right? We could only use A, B, and A prime, B prime because those be corresponding sides. Now, I wouldn't recommend things like A, C, and A prime, C prime, is because this is going to be on a diagonal. And those diagonal lines are going to be kind of hard to go calculate those things, right? For diagonals, you have to count the horizontal and the vertical height, right? So it would be hard to go ahead and calculate for the uh, diagonal because it'll be two dimensions we're looking at. In this case, AB and BC are going to be along the grid lines. So we can go ahead and calculate for those lengths in those definite measures. So now let's talk about, let's go ahead and talk about center of dilation. So how do we find center of dilation? Center of dilation in this case is not gonna be zero, zero. And in many cases is not gonna be zero, zero. So how do we find one that's not zero, zero? In this case, we can go ahead and I'm gonna go and use, let's see, let's use red, use red as our color. Um, and we need to go ahead and find corresponding points. And we already know A corresponds with A prime. So that's a good lead. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a, we're gonna take our uh, pencil and we're gonna go ahead and make a line straight through these corresponding points, A through A prime to A. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make a line, right? So now I got a big line extending from it. And now we're gonna have to do that to all the other points. Now we have A, B and B prime, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and make a line from B prime to B. All right, and notice how these two lines are already converging. But let's to be safe, let's go ahead and see if C and C prime match up the same way uh, A and A prime do, right? and B and B prime do. So it does converge onto the same point, and that is going to be actually our center of dilation. So I'm going to go ahead and use bigger pen tool, and boom, we have right here. See, that's going to be the center of dilation. I'm going to call that. Uh, point O, right? That, that's going to be my center of dilation. And just to figure out the coordinates of my center of dilation, I'm going to put O, the letter that represents it, and go ahead and put coordinates for it, All right? So to find that out, we just have to find the coordinates. So this is in the negative x direction, so I'm going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? 5 up. So negative six, five. 
So I was able to, out, able to find out the center of dilation uh, by connecting the corresponding points using lines. Remember, these lines have to be straight. And they have to uh, converge to one point. We're going to connect those points based on corresponding points. That's the main part. We need to be finding corresponding points, right? So in that case, our center of dilation is negative 6, 5.